Hi guys, Crafty Christy. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to show you how I made the mini purses for a swap that I joined in Nail Art Queen. Uh, she had an embellishment group swap and I did some mini purses for uh, what I put my goodies in. So I got this idea from May May Made It. So you can also go check out her original channel. What you're going to need is a 6x6 paper. It doesn't have to be double sided. It looks prettier if it is, but it does not have to be. You're going to need a two, or I'm sorry, yes, two and a quarter by one and three quarters for the flap piece of paper. And then you're going to need two, whatever color you want of the straps. This, these are for the straps, five by a quarter, just five by one quarter. So let's get started. I've already scored everything that needed to be scored, cut out the little flap in the strips. So I'm just going to show you what to do from here. So this is my paper that I'm using and probably better to see the score lines on the back. You're going to do one way at two and a quarter by three and three quarters. Then you're going to turn it on your scoreboard and do one and three quarters by four and one quarter. And I'll have those down in the description below. So as you can see, you're going to have a little small square and the bigger ones. And what we're going to do is cut the larger size. We're going to cut right to that line. We're not going to fold anything yet, but we're just going to cut right to that line. So let's go ahead and do that now. Just follow your score line. Turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. I'm shaking. I think I've had too much coffee this morning. Okay, and that's all you need to do for the cutting. So then we are going to burnish our big piece in the middle. Now the only thing you have to keep in mind is if there's any kind of design like that's going to get flipped upside down or the writing is going to be flipped around, you're just going to have to watch on which way you score and turn your paper. So that's going to be our middle so you see how small it's going to be. Then we're going to burnish this score line and the reason why you don't do it beforehand is you want to make sure it lines up on the right side along this side right here. And to make it easier, I come down this way and just make sure it's straight on this side. And then you're going to do the same for the other side. Make sure it's lined up on the right side. Sometimes even though you got your score lines, they still can be a little wonky. Yes, I'm flipping everything around just because it's hard for me to see around the camera. See how this doesn't quite match up? Could be my cutting, could be the way I scored it. So I'm just going to make it line up and burnish it that way. And that's it. That's all of the burnishing for that. Now here's what you're going to do. These are going to be your middle pieces. You're going to, well, I'll show you in a minute the gluing part, but you just, these will end up getting folded in. And then these will get in and folded in and you'll have a box. So let's start with this one and this does not need much glue. Matter of fact, I just used my art glitter glue. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. It is so quick drying and will stick in one second. So this is all you have to do for this first one. Let's see if I can get it on camera. I just go down with this as the flap that's well, I can get my glue working. Hold on a second. This is the flap that's gonna be up against the so-called wall. Try this again. And all you need is just along here. But I like to do along here just to make sure. 
just a little bit. You're going to take that, hold, hold your wall up here, and just make sure everything is lined up right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, right there. And then you just hold it in place, just enough for it to be able to see it, or to be able to see it, enough for it to hold its shape. Okay, we're going to do the same on the other side, except we're going to fold it inside that one. Sorry guys. So you just, you could even just use sticky strip if you want of any kind, red tape. You could probably even use hot glue for this. You can hear my dog in the background, sorry. Okay, let's do this again because my glue gun don't work. Or my art glue don't want to work. There we go. Okay. And then you bring that one in here. And all you have to do is line up these edges right there. Oops. And just hold it for a minute until it sticks. And that is one side of your box. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same with this one. I keep forgetting. You probably can't see this because I'm holding it funny. That's why I said this doesn't take much glue. It's very teeny tiny. Okay, so we're going to match these sides up again. Right along there. Hold it. And then we're going to do the same on this side. Just a little bit. And actually, I'm just going to put it along here. A little bit there. You're going to bring that side in. Hold it till it sticks. And I just kind of press on it. Okay, now we have a little bitty teeny tiny box. As you can see. Now you'll see this has flaps. Instead of scoring it like we did everything else in the middle or in the beginning to make a nice even crease right here, all we're gonna do is just, well, let's turn it this way. We are just going to basically just give it a little push to where we can kind of see and just take our fingers and just crease it ourselves. And I hope that makes sense. So instead of having this flap, we have this piece that just bends over and is going to get tucked away. And we're going to do the same thing for this one. Just bend it over, give it a press when you feel it meet with the paper and that's it. And we're just going to give it a little bit of blue. That's why May May even said herself it's easier to do it this way instead of trying to score whatever measurements that is, eighth of an inch or something like that. And it is. It's very, very easy compared to trying to score a big old little line. We're going to run a bit of glue. My glue gun keeps getting stuck. Glue gun. I don't know why I keep saying glue gun. I think it's because it's so early in the morning. Okay, and just hold that in place. And I'm sure this is probably confusing. So if it is, I probably am not explaining it. I know I'm not explaining it as good as May May did. So go over to May May's channel and check out her tutorial if you have any other questions because that's where I got the info from. <laughs> okay, and as you can see, we kind of have a box. Now what she suggested, uh oh, I got blue on it. Okay, what she suggested is instead of doing this to keep it from losing its shape to just kind of put your fingers at the corners and just kind of press down just a little 
it'll still kind of give it that bend or whatever but now you can see it's kind of starting to look more like a purse but it won't give it a complete crease okay so that is the beginnings of our adorable little box or purse sorry now here is what we are going to do with the handles the easiest way to do the handles is to grab each end and just kind of twist it like you're going to flip it back a little bit and just kind of give a little like help it along a little bit you know how purses are ladies they have the handles that are kind of bent like this but we don't necessarily want them bent and then we're going to do the same with the other just hold it on the ends and act like you're going to just flip it but you're not you're going to hold it shape and I also use glue for these well you know what let's do I'm well <coughs> missed a step here this is the piece that's going to go on the back and come over the front but in order to help it out with it out bending grab your bone folder grab the side that you want on the back so that the bone folder is hitting the back go just about I don't know half inch up and just kind of start crawling it nothing crazy this is just going to help it stay over where you want it sorry didn't mean to shake the camera now all we're going to do is run some glue Of course because I'm doing a video it's starting to stop up oh my goodness just give it a couple pokes like I should have done in the first place instead of a little bitty one okay here we go well I thought I know it's gonna happen I'm gonna end up grabbing it and a big old blobs gonna come out I don't care this is my favorite glue I didn't think I liked it at first because of the nozzle it comes it's so thin but yet so strong when it holds and I couldn't get the right pressure to I'm just gonna have to squirt a big glob out just to get it started I couldn't get the right pressure with this um, cap it comes on and then if you watch May May's video because I won this glue in a giveaway if you watch May May's video she has other tips and how to use them and blah 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 so you have to check her out if you're not subscribed to her go subscribe she's got lots of info and I am just having a heck of a time here okay well that'll do for now so pick what side you want that's got glue on it so I'm just gonna make that the back so kind of pick where you want it put it back as far as you want just remember it's going to be centered we're going to hold it in place just enough for it to here and remember it's going to be coming down this way like that now one thing I would like to mention is I did on the purses for my challenge that I entered I drew little lines Matter of fact, I could probably show you one here. You can do the little lines like this, but I suggest doing that before you put this on, which I forgot. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, and since this is going to be something that somebody may just use one time, you can use on the embellishment swap I just used a removable glue dot but for this I'm just gonna squeeze just a tiny bit maybe oh good gravy let's try this one more time if not I'm gonna have to get another glue just squeeze a little bit on there just to hold it for tutorial purposes oh yeah see of course it comes out in a big blob that's alright we'll dab some of it off do not want it to permanently stick till I fill it up okay 
So what you're going to do, if you want to use a um, glue dot till you can get it secured on there, or till you get it filled, then just do that. And just bring it over and just kind of hold it there for a second. And of course. I swear, when something can go wrong in tutorials, it always goes wrong. And I'm already half asleep because it's like 5 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock, something like that. Okay, now to the straps. You just need a glue dot, or a dot of glue, dot of glue. You're going to take it, figure out where you want your strap, make sure it's on there straight. Okay, just hold it there for a second for it to hold. And then you're going to come over here, match it on the other. I didn't hold it there long enough, so hold on a second. Try this again. I'm just going to bring it to the other side and match it. I'll use one. We'll go down right about there. Now, what I do while that's holding on, I'll grab this side and hold on just to make sure. Give it a couple seconds. Okay. Now we're going to do the other side. Sorry, this video is so long, guys. I didn't even have it in camera. Put a dot there, dot there on the other end. Grab the one side, figure out where you want it. That looks about good. Make sure it's straight and hold it. I always check once I push down just to make sure I got it straight. Sometimes I can wiggle it out of place. And then we're going to put the other side on. Right about there. And then once again, I just grab both sides. Just long enough to get it to set. And that should be good. And that is your cute little purse. Like I said, this, I don't know what to not open now. As you can see, I got, that's why I like to use a removable glue dot. But that's okay. I could always go back and cover that up with, you know, just a dot or whatever. But So when they open it, they'll have a little goodie in there. Then they can close it up however embellishment you have or la uh, closure and for the front i like to put like you could put a little bow right there you could put a circular uh pearl you could put anything to make it look like a little button or as part of the closure oh, that's cute like that and that's it. All you have to do is just set it up that easy. It doesn't take no time at all. It took longer me showing you than it did making it because I made six of these in a matter of probably hour and a half. Then all I did was put my goodies inside and send it off. So I also, just so you know, uh, I just punched a little tag and wrap some twine around just to hang it off you know because the expensive purses out there sometimes have like say coach I don't know has like their little tag right there and I just matched it up with this paper and put it on there and wrote my name on the back however you want to decorate it it's all up to you and your cre creativity so I hope everybody enjoyed this tutorial I hope it explained uh, some of the questions that someone may have had and I hope you try it out they are so stinking cute and it is not 
Let me see here. Give you some measurements real quick. The whole base is probably three and a half. Two and a half if you measure from square to square. So that tells you on the bottom measures one and a half. So two and a half by one and a half is what you'd be able to fill the space with. So if you haven't checked out Mamie's channel, go check her out, see her video. I'll have it posted down below as well as the measurements. And I hope everybody has a wonderful, blessed day. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.